Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the totally accurate battle simulator sandbox arena where champions from across the globe are competing to find out just who can be the very best. Yes, like no one ever was. In the left corner, we have ourselves Ash the Archer and his fighting companion Pikachu the Peasant. And going against them, we have Sherlock the Spearman and Watson the Boxer. Who is going to be the champion? I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. But then Ash, in a twist to end all twists, shoots his own Pikachu in the back of the head, making him in a 1v2. The guilt driving him crazy, he misses all the next shots, and then Watson the Boxer smashes him to the ground. The brutality in the arena is fierce. <laughs> How could this happen? have some fun today yes we are one thing i do want to see one thing i do want to see is how a chariot deals with an unending line of peasants because don't you just hate it when you try and get rid of all the peasants and they just keep forming a massive line i mean don't get me wrong the englishman inside me does really enjoy a perfect bit of queuing but not when it's this far i mean seriously all right chariot <laughs> That was great! He tore through so many of them! He is making it happen. He is so excited that his leg has actually broken through the floor of the chariot. Is he actually going to take this many? But no, no, there we go. He is uh, thoroughly dead. That was brilliant, though. It really, really was. All righty, then. Next up, I want to see a chariot uh, versus a cannon. Who will win? Will the chariot make it to the cannon before the cannon fires his single shot? What will it be? How's it gonna go down? Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, he just instantly... And then he fell out. <laughs> so anticlimactic! Alright, I think we may need to give the cannon an extra friend here to bring down this chariot. Alright! between both cannons, scoring a horse-based cannon goal, and then one cannon, infuriated with his useless ally, team-killed him. Okay, three cannons, surely. Three cannons is the balance of power between cannon and archer, and they- wow. He instantly killed two of them. Okay, he's going round, he's going round. The cannon is struggling to do it, and- oh! No, 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 no! He don't do it! All up in here! And there goes the final cannon! That was some Mr. Fantastic whipping leg action there! Let's go for the full square quadrant technique. Here we go! Chariot goes straight down the middle, not wanting to commit to any line of attack just yet, but. Is the one round. Oh, the horse going low to the floor to get the cannons to dodge above him. He's taking a few hits here. He's not actually taking a cannon out yet. Just that one does go. But there's still a lot left. He's trying to do some seriously acrobatic moves there to dodge the uh, dodge the cannons. The horse using his cart and driver as a defensive shield as he plows forward, and there it is. The horse's head blown clean off, and finally a victory for the uh, cannon crew. Okie dokie. So the next thing to try, I believe, is uh, a single one of each of the non-heavy weapons units, just to see how this very even battle plays out. The barbarians are definitely getting a little bit of a lead with their heavy-as-hell maces. The swordsmen not far behind. They're going to clash with a double dink on each other's head. The swordsmen getting in there. The barbarian not quite sure. The boxer has no idea what happens. Gets turned around. 
around. The shields forcing their minions to fight. The spearman with an accidental team kill there, but he brings it back round, kills the other one, and is now fighting the shield. Down goes an archer, an arrow to the dick, secures his a crippling defeat on the field. Now can they come down to this archer taking out the red spearman before he dies? And the answer is no. No, right where it hurts. That is just brutal. Here we go. taps on each other's head. The boxer with a KO instantly on that. It is just a massacre. It's now down between two bowmen and a shield each. There goes the enemy poacher. The longbowmen remain. The shield coming around the side, blocking arrows left and right. He's going to go for the slap on him. Knocks him back a little bit. Not a lot of damage. The archer takes the opportunity to get rid of the red shield. So it's down to a two versus two. Oh, and there goes uh, the blue shield. Who's going to win this final fight between all of them? That is the question. Uh, he is getting closer and closer. The poacher's bow range, not quite as good, but it does have a lower arc, and boom! Down goes a hit. The red chariot is still having this last final battle with the blue swordsman, who is refusing to believe that his team is so bad. Riding themselves on the bush, the uh, peasant and uh, the boxer. The peasant with a broken arm there, but still fighting. True, true, true bravery. Okay, they're going to get in combat, and he actually takes them. Oh, almost, but a quick punch in the crotch uh, with his good arm does secure them the victory there. <laughs> Are the blues or the reds responsible for training the most skilled catapulters? And fire! Oh, that was... That was... Wow, he just... Wow. <laughs> That's quite ridiculous! Here we go! And fire! Ooh! They're doing some badass hitting each other in the air shenanigans and then... Boom! The blues are really good when it comes to catapults. Red is refusing to let his side down this time. He is saying, well, I might not be able to kill him, but I can at least stop him from killing me. Lord, help me. I will do something here. My family is waiting. They are proud of me, and I will not let them down. No, I will not. The question is, does the ball that's slowly rolling after the impact do the damage? A solid hit on Baloo there. The red gets past the defense. Fences. Can he keep it going? No, they are back to exchanging balls in the air. High five! Tsh. That is what is going on here. They're actually just respecting each other with another high five. Oh no! And once again, Red does die. So sad. A full row of catapults, and then the enemy team is going to be four rows of shieldmen. They have got to use their shields, stop the death itself that's going to rain onto them, and take out the siege equipment of the enemy side. Oh, oh this looks awesome! Alright, the cannon's nearly in range to fire. There go the ballista on the front lines! Absolutely a Annihilating the front row of shields. Oh my god, it's a slaughter! The shields raining into the sky! The corpses of their owners following not long after! It is just utter destruction here on the field! You can almost feel the screams! Oh my god, this just looks brutal! Mangled corpses! The blues are in disarray! They're running all over the place! Morale is low! The route is real! One questions why the blues were coming from the red camp and the reds coming from the blue camp. Who the hell knows? Maybe they're having a lovely edition of House Swap for the day. This guy over here with the world's longest leg. He is managing to push his entire arm across the battlefield to try and get some melee kills there. Another one goes down. There is just not much that can be done here. The siege equipment in just a huddle in the center. A few of the blues still bravely battling on as they climb the mangled uh, wood of uh, the uh, catapults here, trying to get to their drivers, trying somehow to stop it, trying to use their allies' corpses, and they actually managed to do it! Victory to the shields! 
They've now got two rows of the destruction here. Slaughtered in the opening here, they really do! My word! My word, he managed to grab that. These two are just running. Oh, this guy got two ballistas through his body. Oh, he is well and truly dead. Where are they even going? Nobody knows. The destruction is absolutely real. They're exploding outwards. I mean, the ballista are not really understanding having to have space between each other so that they don't just team kill, but oh, that is just glorious. The uh, red catapulter who has literally stretched his entire body to encompass over to the mountain. Where is he even doing that he's formed a great crimson wall to block off the retreat of the blues here that is a genius strategy coming out from the side of the reds there and the the blues the 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 blues are <laughs> i just realized what are they doing they're all what <laughs> what what are they doing <laughs> Are they, is they, are they trying to survive? Are they like, okay, maybe if I, maybe if I hide behind this tree, they, they won't they won't see me. And I won't wait. There's more of them. In fact, they're everywhere. They're just trying to become one with the trees. What are they doing? <laughs> I mean, this one is literally running away up the goddamn mountain, trying to be free. I don't want to die. I have a family, but I can't let go of the shield. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fell down. Oh, apparently, the blues won there. Oh, my word. That was brilliant. They're all just hiding behind Here trees. we go. We have the Persian archer hordes on the right. That actually works really well. Look at that. No retreat. No surrender. That is Spartan law. And by Spartan law, we will stand and fight. Smash into the wall of archers, taking them down one by one. It is just a slaughter here. Absolutely nothing they can do but wait to be cut down by the long thick spiky poles of the Spartans as they plunge them repeatedly into the flank of the Persians. It is just hot here to, I mean, I mean brutal here today on the battlefield. Yes. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. This is fine. Yay! Alright guys, I think that'll do. That'll do. Let me know if you'd still like more of this. It's still a lot of fun to play and have some fun with. But yeah, there you have it. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Oh, good boy.